Alex, tell us your impressions of the exhibition and kind of maybe the, the excitement of starting and then a little bit of frustration offensively and how you kind of work through that. Yeah. First off, it's great to have fans in here. Man, it was, you know, it wasn't a packed house, but just looking up and seeing people in the stands, it was, it was a good feeling. Uh, obviously, we started out slow. Uh, there was definitely frustration on the court. I thought that our focus on the defensive end was there the whole game, um, even, even though, you know, we were down at one point. But uh, I thought the guys really locked in throughout the course of the game, and especially coming out in the second half just on the defensive side of the ball, talking, communicating with each other. But offensively, um, we definitely struggled. So our main thing was just getting to the second and the third side. Um, we're all new faces. We've been practicing with each other all, all off season and preseason. But it's, it's different when you step out there for a game in front of fans. And uh, guys are still getting used to that. But just as, if we can continue to get to the second or third side and protect the ball, that was our biggest thing throughout the game, um, turnovers. And uh, that's something that we've stressed uh, as we've been practicing. But now in games, just handling that pressure and, and knowing what to do when it comes and, and you know, playing off two if we're in the paint, um, just, just kind of handling that the right way. And, and then, like I said, getting a second or third side uh, in our offense. What do you think were the contributing factors to the slow start? Um, I definitely, I definitely think there were some jitters just being out there um, as, as a team, you know, uh, playing in front of fans for the first time in probably, you know, a year or two. It was, uh, it's definitely a different feeling, but I think the guys responded really well to it. You know, I, we wanted to beat this team by 50, but, you know, the, the course of the game, we, we ended up with a win. Maybe it wasn't as much as we wanted it to be, but we're going we're gonna to go back, watch film, and learn from it. What was the most encouraging thing that you saw tonight, would you say? I would say our intensity on the defensive end. You know, uh, coming out in the second half, the guys were really locked in. And we were locked in in the first half, too. But um, just our communication, the way we were moving, the way we were guarding, um, I thought that we really, we really doubled down on that coming out in the second half. We didn't get to see you in that scrimmage last week. We saw a decent amount of T. John and then obviously denied. What was it like playing with him finally and kind of getting the juices going with the two of you at the same time going back and forth? Yeah, no, he's a, he's a great player. He's fun to play with. He's so unselfish. And, uh, and he, he can really play make. He's a, he's a playmaker. Um, but we were both talking throughout that frustration moment. Um, the few minutes that we had, we were just like, hey, we, we need to respond. We need to take these guys and respond with them. And we got to do it in the right way. You know, a couple shots weren't falling for us on, on our first side in offense, but that's that's what we kept communicating, like the coaches were in our, in our media timeouts. But we kept telling the guys, hey, we got to get to the second and third side because we're going to get open shots. They don't want to guard us um, when we're running through our offense like that. But uh, it was it was definitely fun to be out there with them. How much are you looking forward just to get the season officially going here in a few days? Really looking forward to that. That's that's what I've been waiting for all summer. Who of the guys coming off the bench were you most impressed with uh, tonight? Um, I was really impressed with, I mean, really, I could go down the line. Uh, Trevin, his, his intensity on defense, um, you know, a couple shots didn't fall for him, but then he got that AM 1 3. And uh, the focus that he has to, has to have to do that, um, you know, he's worried about the right things when he's out there, and he's really bought into the team, which is it just speaks to him being a veteran and uh, the leader that he is, uh, the player that he is, and, um, and then Spencer, um, just how how he plays on the defensive end of the ball. He's always getting his hand in in the gap, getting a hand on the ball, slapping it away, whether he comes up with the steal or not. Um, just just kind of freezing their offense. Uh, he really he really makes a. Just, just wor us work better on the defensive end. So I was, I was happy with both of them. You've probably seen Foose make a block like that <laughs> in the first half in practice, but it was still pretty impressive. On oh that. my gosh, Foose, him, him and Atiki, they are, they are just extraordinary talents. You know, they, they come in and they work hard every day, and you could just see the potential that they have. But even, even the talent that they have right now, that they're, that they're producing for us, it's, you know, it's, it's really fun to watch. Just seeing how young they are. But uh, yeah, no, he, he, they both can get up there. And when, when Foose got that, it was, you know, I was a little mad they called that one foul on him, but it's fine, we'll, we'll get it back. <laughs> what, 
what is it about Foose that, I mean, he's so young and still adapting to college and the college game and everything, but it seems like he's got sort of the build where he, he can play a pretty big role for you guys. Definitely. I think it's his willingness to learn and get better every day. You know, he's really locked into what these coaches are showing him in film. And uh, we told him, because he, he hit two threes, I think, in the scrimmage uh, last week. And he caught, a, caught the ball in our, in our flow. And, you know, he was wide open at the three. And we were, we were kind of giving him a hard time in the locker room. Like, hey, bro, why didn't you shoot that? You know, you, you know, you hit two threes in the scrimmage. He's like, man, I was just focused on my offense, like on the offensive sets that we were running. He's like, I just didn't want to mess up with that. And you could just tell he's, he's wanting to, I don't know, not go out there and be perfect, but he's wanting to do better for the team. And then that's the kind of guys that you want to play with, which, you know, it's, it's only going to show as the season goes on and results come for him. Offensively, how do you guys, how do you think that you can, can limit the turnovers and play more like you did in the second half and in the opener? Yeah, I think it's slowing down. And that's not, that's not saying that we're going to be a slow team because we definitely want to be a, an up-tempo team and push the ball in transition, but it, it's slowing down mentally. You know, we don't need to make the, the home run play. Like it's, we're just all about simple plays and uh, making the extra pass. So I think it definitely just slowing the game down in our heads. One last question. Are you guys good? It's good. Thanks, guys. Awesome. It's good to be back in person, yeah. not on Zoom. <laughs>